the show. I'm very excited today. My my first guest today is an icon uh, who, when she finds out uh, what happened today, she will actually get booked on a better show because... <laughs> She just found out today that the new children's book that she wrote, uh, The Very Fairy Princess Takes the Stage, I think I've read that. Uh, <laughs> or maybe I just lived it. <laughs> but it's just become number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Number one. Please welcome the lovely Julie Andrews, everybody. Julie See, I haven't seen you in too long, and you look sensational, well, may I say. Well, thank you. And congratulations. May I, before I talk about the, the book, I, your jacket is so lovely. Isn't it pretty? It's very nice. It's got flowers on it. Yes, it's sort of got, uh, it's got a tulip on the back or something. Has it really? Well, can I see? Yes. Well, let, me, let me see. Can I stroke it? Uh, well, I thought the audience should, there you go. All right, can no. I stroke Yes, it? please. Thank you. That's enough. Well, I can't stroke it anymore? Well, you could if you really want. But can uh, we wait till the commercial? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, it's, it's just my way of, uh, well, never mind. Um, <laughs> apropos of nothing, have you ever been to Brazil? No. Okay. No, uh, I haven't. <laughs> have you? In my mind. <laughs> I, in I, your dreams. In my right? dreams, yeah. Sometimes my wakey-awake <laughs> dreams as well. This is lovely, though. I'm very, very happy for well, you. You're very Number kind. one, that's awesome. I know. Well, the thing is this. Uh, we, uh, since I last saw you, my yes. daughter and I, and I write with, with my daughter Emma Walton right. Hamilton. Uh, Walton she, Hamilton? Walter, Emma Walton Hamilton. Sounds good. Is she, is she married to someone called Hamilton or Walton? She's a Walton married to a Hamilton. Right. Yes. It's a lot of name right there. Right. You... A name to be reckoned with. Right. It, it, sounds, it sounds terribly, terribly posh. Well, she's really very down to earth and real and lovely and huggable. I didn't. I wasn't suggesting you had an imaginary daughter. No, 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 no. No, I understand she's real. Are you inferring that I? couldn't have a posh daughter? No, no, I, no, of course not. You're very posh. You're Dame Julie Andrews. Anything you do is posh. Your jacket is posh. The only posh thing that you haven't is being here. This is not that posh. Yes, I understand that, but, yeah. I'm, but we're friends. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you. Thank you. But anyway, this book, uh, we, we bought out the first one about a year ago called the very fairy princess and it's about a little girl who is a despite fairy? no despite every indication to the contrary she is convinced that she is a very fairy princess her socks are about her ankles her knees are scraped is this about lindsay lohan or something no, <laughs> is it? no but it's it's really about your individual spirit and how oh. if you just now i don't want any rude remarks about this if you would just let your sparkle out you would uh be <laughs> anything you want to be, okay? See, now not... here's the problem. Now, this is the problem, because I didn't do anything rude. You said, let your inner sparkle out, and I can see your inner sparkle coming out right there. That's because we're friends, and I know you very well. Well, that's see? right. That, now, I'm naughty. Yes, you are. I am yeah. naughty. That's putting... Whereas you are not naughty ever at all. Really? Well, you don't know me very well. <laughs> Anyway, having said that, the number Your one book... nails are fantastic. Oh, will you shut up? Uh, but they are, though. They're I, nice. I'm trying to talk about uh, my Oh, yeah, yeah, book. all right. The book, the book is great. It's number yeah, one. No, but the, wait, wait. How no, better can it do? Come on! Number, no, the first version, which was a year ago, went right. to number one, which was lovely, right. and stayed there for a while, and we just brought out the second one called... And it's got a number the one. The Very Fairy Princess Takes the Stage. Right, That's, so you haven't got that one here. You oh, this is, the, this is the old one, then? This is the old one, Oh, I'm yeah. terribly sorry. So we don't have the new one? Well, I don't. Well, they were sold out. It's number one on the best <laughs> We couldn't get it. <laughs> That's, lo that's a lovely picture of you and your that daughter right there. That is Emma Walton oh, Hamilton she's right lovely, there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I, as I was literally getting in the car to right. come here, right. uh, I got news that it's the second book of the series is uh, number one on the children's best. Well, that's is a lot of money in them children's books, you know. Well, I hope from oh, your yeah, lips no. to someone's ears. Yeah. yeah, no, you'll get a lot of money. That J.K. Rowling, she's worth about well, 100 bucks or more. Of course she is, yeah. <laughs> 
It's worth yes. a lot of money, you know. Listen, well, I hear that you had a birthday yesterday. Yesterday, yeah, it was 49. Yeah. I really hate it. I really hate it when people applaud my age because it makes me feel like they're going, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we won't talk about mine then in that case. Um, anyway, I thought I'd bring you a little present with these lovely books. I get to keep no, the book? No, you don't get to All keep right. the book. Well, you can keep the book. All you right. certainly can. Uh, but uh, we, we're also selling uh, children's pajamas packaged with the book. It's called Books to Bed. And I thought you might like I'll never have... get into a pair of children's well, pajamas. Wait, 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 I'm too wait, wait, fat. Wait. No, uh, this pa pair, actually, this is the only adult pair of very, very princess pajamas. And uh, they... I just thought... Goes on wow. and on and on. There we go. Wow. And well, I think we've got a close to the show tonight. <laughs> So there you go. And wow. so they were made for you for fun, and that's my happy birthday present. Well, thank you so much. No, so... no, no, don't go there. No, 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 no. No, I must, darling. It's lovely. Do you mind if I put them on over my... Uh... Well, no, I'd rather, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can manage that one. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm wearing a microphone, and then I've got my Spanx on underneath this, yeah. but I'm, I'll try. I'm... No, just hold it up against you. That's probably the best thing. No, excuse me. You said don't do any naughty, rude things, and then you sparkled and said, just hold it up against you. And I saw you doing it. I saw you doing it. Do you get your nails done in a salon professionally? Because they are very nice. They're, they're, yeah, they're not... Well, they're good enough, you know, for a fairly old, wrinkled hand, but... No, that's not an old wrinkle. That's a lovely hand. Uh, there it is. You may kiss it. Thank you. Uh, are we still talking about your hand? Yeah. <laughs> See, well, you started it. You no, started Yes, didn't. you did. No, I yes, you didn't. did. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I, I want to put this on, but I... But I think you might have to... No, you, I think it's going to get in the way of... No, the I've, I've just had a great idea. What? I've had a great idea. What I'll do is I'll go, we'll go to a commercial break, and then I will uh, put that on, and I'll, the sound man can come and, and change the microphone, and then when I come back, I can be wearing them, and that'll plug your book even more. Well, you know... <laughs> As they say in vaudeville, what a good idea. That's a good idea. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm here with the lovely Julie Andrews who made me some pajamas. <laughs> Which I'm very happy because they're very fairy princess pajamas. Just what I always want. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. We would make them for, for, for very small children. This is the first really grown-up pair that we've ever had made. You know, the, the, this is there's a, actually there's a, I think there's a website for people that like to dress up as. A... These are pajamas that are packaged with the book, and they're called Books to Bed, and so... Uh, uh, books to Bed, right. Yes. Do you, do, did you, do, you, do, you, do you want me to read you a story right I now? I love a bedtime story, yes. Please. <laughs> as long as now you keep what it... Is it... Now, what is it about... Every time I talk to you, because I don't think of you as being... I mean, I think of you as being, uh, you know, sort of uh, dignified, and I have a lot of class, but every time I talk to you, everything seems sexual. <laughs> That's is that not, me? I think it is, yes, I do. I think it's it is not! You did it again! You did that thing! You did... I think it is, yes. And then you did that little thing, like that. Because I think you do it with everybody. No, 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 au contraire. No, no, no. Uh, Howie Mandel's out here, I hardly look at him. No, no, I don't know. No. Do, you, do you find that... Do you think that people flirt as often as they used to? I mean... I think it's different now. They do it in texts and phones and yes, stuff. Yes, they do, they? yeah, and, and exchange a lot of photographs and things like that, oh, which doesn't yeah. seem like a very smart idea. Yeah, in the old days, we had to imagine sending photographs of each other's genitals to each other. And <laughs> now they actually do. Yeah. It takes all the fun out of it. Don't you? I think I, there probably is as much flirting, probably more, if you think about it. There's some it, right, went on right there when you did that. <laughs> Really? You think more? Why? Well, I think ladies flirt a lot as much as guys do now, don't they? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of out of that game now, really. Really? Yeah, well, I got the lady princess pajamas on and stuff. 
you know, just for tonight. No, no, I'm, I'm actually, I'm wondering if this might be the way to combat the hideous lighting in this show. <laughs> actually, you do look really beautifully lit right I now. know, I think if Can I started... Can you see yourself in the camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that us on TV? I thought it was, I thought we were just like in a sports bar. <laughs> So, so listen, I, I want to talk to you about, are you, do you still have a place in Switzerland? I do. Right. Yeah. Do you go there a lot? Uh, well, you know, my husband was very ill. Uh, yes, and, I know. That. And recently, very sadly, passed away. Yeah, so I heard. I was very sorry I to hear that. Yeah, thanks, Craig. And so I haven't been as much recently, but uh, I was there just about a month ago, and to just... Uh, sort of rest up and get my head straight and all of that. It's beautiful. I, I We've had a home there for about 41 years. I rather fancy Switzerland. Oh, you without. have every... Didn't uh, Chaplin correct. go and live in Switzerland? Yes, Charlie he did. Chaplin yeah, went to live in... Yeah. He, had, he had eight kids after the age of 55, you know. Did he? Yeah. Well, good. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I'm going to have... I, like, I want to have like a dozen. Well, you better get in shape, is all I can say. <laughs> I mean, get in shape. I'm sitting here. Dr yeah, I see your point. Yeah, I see. <laughs> you know what? I, if you want to come and scout it out, I'm sure you've been, but... Uh, no, I've, you know, I've never been to Switzerland. I've only ever seen uh, cartoons with Goofy learning to ski. Oh. Yeah. Well, come and, come and visit, and I'll show you the most beautiful place in the world, and uh, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Well, what are you... Look, see, are you doing it again? <laughs> no! You d see, I think I don't. Th I don't think you even know no, when no. you're doing it. You don't even know when you're doing it. You said, "Come and see." Is what I show you one of the most beautiful. Really <laughs> no, like, you just have a filthy mind. I do not just have a filthy. See, now this is the mind game you're playing with me. I I do have a filthy mind. I admit I have a filthy mind. So, but you play Boy, mind games with my filthy mind. I never. You do. I can't even look at old, you know, DVDs of Mary Poppins without thinking, "What the hell is going on now? <laughs> what the hell is going on?" I have to tell you something about that. Yeah. When I made Mary Poppins, yeah. uh, uh, I was married to my first husband, who was the designer of all the clothes of Mary Poppins. Oh, designers were straight back then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very, this one was. Oh, okay. And um, that's my Emma's dad. Oh, really? Right. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah. And uh, he decided that although Mary Poppins was extremely prim, on the outside, if you looked at the petticoat or you looked at the lining of the jacket, they were always cherry red or crimson or yeah. bright, bright blue. And he said, I think she has a little, tiny little sort of second life going on, you know? <laughs> was this as you were getting together he had this idea? Uh, no, no, this was when he was designing the clothes for me. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, were, were you already married at this point? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. you were? No, right. no, we were. So he yeah. knew you pretty well, then? Well, he, no, he... <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, he, he brought a little bit of his own experience of the actress and the creation of the part along with you, is what I'm well, saying. Well, no, I think he actually just knew Mary, or thought he knew Mary Poppins very I well. I like Mary Poppins. Have you seen the one on Broadway? Yes. What do you yes, think? I have. Well, I saw it in London before, right, right, before right. it came to Broadway, right. but I haven't seen the Broadway one. So. Yeah, I saw it on Broadway. I went with my son. He, uh, he was seven at the time, and I thought it was one of these moments where you get, you get to know your, who your kid is because yes. I thought, you know, about just uh, coming up to the interval, he said, and, uh, he said, I'm bored, like really loud. Whoa. <laughs> and I thought, well, he's not gay. <laughs> and that... But that was all I ever thought about it, really. <laughs> but tell me, did he like the rest of the show? Yeah, no, he loved it. Yeah, did no, he? I, yeah. I liked it too. I thought it was very nice. Yeah, yeah when you got to the chimney sweeps, it was okay. I love him. a bit of chimney. You know, Dick Van Dyke was here recently. Was he? Yeah, he's coming he's back. He's just again. written a book. Uh, well, that, that'll explain why he was just here. <laughs> uh, he's a love, isn't he's he? He's a lovely man, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, no, he's very nice. And unbelievably uh, 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 young, tall. Young, yeah, 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 yeah. Wonderful. He can still heart. dance. I know. I know. I know. The knees can still do, you know, yeah. knees up, Mother Brown, and all of that. Knees up, Mother Brown. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to come and look at Switzerland? Yeah, right? yeah. I fancy actually. Uh, I mean, if I can get out of this dump, I'll be right there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, don't you get a? Can break? I get? Can I a week off or something? Go to Switzerland, and see Julie? What do you mean, no? <laughs> They're, they're trying to test me because I'm having a cuss-free week on the show. I'm trying not to cuss so, at all. Wh when do you begin? <laughs> I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't... Oh, you mean with the rabbit? 
Well, a little bit before that, too, weren't <laughs> No? No, I don't think I... I think I'm, like, I, I, I think I give the impression of cussing even when I'm not. It's like the way you give the impression of... See, you're doing it again! <laughs> You're doing it again. You give the impression you might not be doing anything, but suddenly you just kind of and you go into this, you go into this kind of smolder, and I'm like, knock it off. No, I'm just a good second banana. That's all. No, it is I don't know me. if that's. Yeah. Is, is that code? <laughs> yeah. We have to go. I'm getting very sleepy in my pajamas now. Is is there anything you'd care to plug before we go? Uh, no, I mean, th thank you for plugging this brand new book, which I'm so thrilled and pleased about. Well, the book that's called "The Very Fairy Princess Takes the Stage" is that's number one right. on the uh, yeah. on the on the children's bestseller list. And, yeah, yeah. And there's a third one coming out next year. Well, you could plug that a bit. Fourth one after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Mouth organ or awkward pause? Well, oh. I don't play them. Uh, well, which would you rather? <laughs> Said she. I'll just fetch it. I'll be right back. Oh, he knew what he wanted. <laughs> he knows what he wants. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. All right. What do I have to do? Just blow it. You know, fine. <laughs> Hold on. Was, is there anything in here? Hey, see, no, don't say no, it like wait, that. No, 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 no. No, unwrap it. Slower, slower. <laughs> now tell me. If you have to hold you it. You are so way. naughty. <laughs> you know what? That's a cop out, isn't it, gang? What? Yeah, it really is. What's a cop out? You. You just get away with murder and you say, oh, you're so naughty, you know? Oh, wait a minute. You've which seen side through do I do my face? technique? Yeah, which side? This side? Uh, I don't know. Which side do you think you should blow uh, for? Will you I... shut up? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Gave you a nasty shock, doesn't it? Yeah. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four.